Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. You are watching microbial world. We have successfully completed the lesson. So today in this session we are going to discuss about the questions which are repeated in the previous Olympiads and the competitive exams which appeared from this chapter. Okay, Are you ready children? So before uh, going to assessment, let us briefly recall the subject which we have learnt. What are microorganisms? The living organisms, it is very minute to see by our naked eyes. Okay? Such organisms which are visible only through the microscope, they are called uh, microorganisms. Microorganisms are classified into how many groups? Four major groups. What are they? Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and uh, algae. Of course, viruses are also there, but they are non living. So, we are considering there are four main groups of living microorganisms. What are they? Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and uh, some algae, not all. Okay, some of the microorganisms are unicellular. Can you give some example? Bacteria, protozoa. Okay? And some of the microorganisms are multicellular. Example, molds. And um, microorganisms can survive under uh, different types of climatic environments ranging from uh, ice cold climate to hot summers and uh, even desert, is not it? Deserts to marshy muddy lands and they are also found inside the bodies of animals including humans. They live in air, water, soil, food and other things, isn't it? Then what about viruses? Viruses are uh, uh, special organisms. Okay? You may be surprised to know that the viruses can be crystallized and stored like uh, some non-living things such as common salt and sugar. On the other hand, they multiply like living organisms when they are within a living body or living host. It may be a plant or animal. Okay? The bacteria, bacteria are unicellular microorganisms, single celled microorganisms. They are uh, put under the plant kingdom because uh, they have rigid definite cell wall like plant cells. Bacteria can be seen under the microscope which enlarges their image from a hundred to thousand times. Okay? Fungi if you take, fungi are the non-green plants and they cannot synthesize their own food. They have to depend for uh, their food on uh, others. The most fungi take their food from the dead organic matter. They are saprophytic in nature, isn't it? Some live on other organisms as parasites. And if you take algae, algae are green substance floating on the surface of the pond, lake, river, stagnant water, moist soil, stones, etc. They tend to grow on uh, wet surfaces. Therefore, they can synthesize their own food. They are found to, they are found in water or in very moist places. The protozoa, protozoa are uh, the unicellular animals, some of them are free living and others are parasites. Several parasitic protozoans cause the diseases in human beings, domestic animals and plants. For example, the plasmodium, a protozoan that causes uh, malaria in human beings. Okay? So, not only the harmful microorganisms, microorganisms are also useful for us in many ways. The microorganisms are commercially used for a, the large scale production of alcohol, wine, and the uh, acetic acid that is vinegar while uh, it also has some medicinal uh, uses also. The microorganisms can be used in the manufacture of antibiotics. Okay? The microorganisms can harmful too. Some of the microorganisms cause the disease in humans, plants as well as in animals. Such microorganisms which cause diseases are known as pathogens. Some microorganisms spoil leather even food and uh, cloths. Okay? So, microorganisms may be friend or foil. 
okay so let us proceed children are you ready so here the questions which repeated in the previous sentence examination the first question germ theory of disease was put forth by robert koch louis pasteur rare divine it is the robert germ theory it was proposed by louis pasteur which of the following is a bacterial disease measles smallpox rabies tuberculosis okay here the first three are viral diseases tuberculosis tb is the bacterial disease bordetella pertussis causes influenza pneumonia meningitis in the young children whooping cough pertussis is also called whooping cough okay so bacterial disease the penicillin antibiotic which affects bacterial means how penicillin works dna replication it affects the bacterial dna replication or bacterial protein synthesis or uh, plasma membrane properties or peptidoglycan synthesis cell wall where does it act it act on the peptidoglycan synthesis the citrus canker is caused by fungus bacterium virus nematoda bacterium xanthomonas citri is the bacterium which causes the citrus canker disease in citrus plants the disease pneumonia is caused by virus cyanobacteria bacteria cold okay it is uh, the cyanobacteria no 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 it is the bacteria okay bacteria causes pneumonia okay pneumonia is a lung disease in which uh, water is accumulated in the lungs okay the poisonous substance commonly produced by the bacteria are known as toxins or exotoxins auxins antibiotic antitoxins the poisonous substances commonly produced by bacteria are known as toxins or exotoxins the bacterial blight of rice is caused due to is a disease the name bacterial blight it is caused by xanthomonas varizae helminthosporium varizae pseudomonas falcatum xanthomonas falcatum bacterial blight of rice is caused by xanthomonas varizae Rice as the type of rice, the scientific name of rice. So, Xanthomonas varizae is the bacteria which causes disease in the blight disease in the rice. Mycology or mycetology is a branch which deals with the study of viruses, algae, bacteria, fungi. Okay, fungal mycelium, mycetology, study of fungi. Which of the following does not contain chlorophyll? Fungi, algae, bryophyta, pteridophyta. Okay, it is the uh, fungi. Thread-like filaments of fungi are known as conidia, mycorrhiza, sporangium, hyphae. Okay, it is the fungal hyphae which are filamentous. The cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin, cellulose, pectin, suberin. It is chitin. The immobility. and the spread out nature of uh, which group lead as leads us to call them plants molds mushrooms lichens all of these okay immobility and spread out nature okay all of the above the immobility and spread out nature of uh, which uh, group leads us to call them plants once again so it is a 13 t about the 12 question or oh, 13 question repeated next when fungi feed 
on dead organic matter they are known as dimorphic parasites saprophytes none of these saprophytes okay aflatoxins are produced by bacteria viruses fungi nematodes fungi okay in groundnuts when they are not stored properly these aflatoxins are produced okay which of the following fungi are edible agaricus campestris mochella esculenta protaxan pro protaxis all of these okay these are all uh, the edible fungi edible means eatable okay F mushroom curry first antibiotic isolated was penicillin neomycin tetramycin streptomycin it is a penicillin is the first antibiotic the fungus that may cause disease in human beings is pachinia aspergillus cystopus rhizopus it is a aspergillus I call this is human beings that uh, recently we are calling it as black mold what do you call a black fungus okay. it is asparagus asparagus the mushroom is muco saccharomyces agaricus penicillium mushroom agaricus okay one of the common fungal disease in man is cholera plague ringworm typhoid ringworm is a common fungal infection in humans yeast is unlike bacteria in being unicellular multicellular prokaryotic eukaryotic unicellular fungi okay agar agar is obtained from gelidium polysiphonia fungus laminaria these are all uh, uh, fucus laminaria so these are all algae uh, from which uh, agar agar is obtained from gelidium algae agar agar is obtained this agar agar is used as a medium for the growth of uh, tissue in the tissue culture okay most primitive group of algae blue green algae red algae brown algae green algae blue green algae or cyanobacteria is the most primitive group of algae okay sargasso sea is uh, named after the alga sargassum which is a green alga brown alga red alga or uh, blue green algae okay alga means singular algae means plural okay sargasso sea is named after an algae sargassum which is the pigment which color algae Okay, it is the brown algae. Okay. Absorptive heterotrophic nutrition is exhibited by absorptive heterotrophic nutrition. Algae, fungi, bryophytes, pteridophytes. It is a fungi which shows uh, absorptive heterotrophic nutrition. That's why they are called uh, saprophytes. Mycorrhiza exhibits the phenomenon of parasitism, symbiosis, antagonism, endemism. Okay, it is the symbiosis. Mycorrhiza shows uh, it will grow along with the roots of some plants. Uh, mycorrhiza. Okay, it exhibits phenomenon of symbiosis. Both are mutually beneficial. Mycorrhiza is correctly described as parasitic association between the roots and some fungi. the symbiotic association or relation between the fungi and the roots of some higher plants okay symbiosis of algae and fungi or the relation of ants with the stem of uh, some trees it is the symbiotic relationship between the fungi and the roots of some higher plants mycorrhiza which of the following group represent uh, pathological fungi mushrooms morels and truffles rusts smuts and molds penicillium all of these okay the group represent the pathological fungi okay that is uh, rusts and uh, 
molds. Root like structure in saprophytic fungi are called rhizoids, hasturia, hyphae, constricting rings. It is the uh, rhizoids or the root like structures, they are not the true roots which are produced by the saprophytic fungi. Helps in the absorption of the digested food materials, okay, dissolved food materials. Who coined the term animal cules for microorganisms like bacteria and protozoa? Robert Koch, Louis Pasteur, Alexander Fleming, Anton van Leeuwenhoek. It is Anton van Leeuwenhoek who coined the term animal cules. Okay, they are not true animals, but they are called animal cules. Which one? Bacteria and the protozoa. For example, slipper animal cule. Paramecium is called slipper animal cule. Bell animal cule. Vorticella is called as bell animal cule. Okay? Like that. Who discovered the bacteria causing tuberculosis and also developed the various techniques of media preparation and maintenance of pure culture? Robert Koch, Louis Pasteur, Alexander Fleming, Leeuwen Hawk. Robert Koch. Okay. He developed uh, various techniques of medium preparation and the maintenance of a uh, pure culture of bacterium. Who developed the vaccine against anthrax? Louis Pasteur, Edward Jenner, Leon Hack, Alexander Fleming. It is Edward Jenner. Okay. Uh, Edward Jenner, smallpox vaccine. Okay, poor. Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur developed the vaccine against uh, anthrax. What is penicillin medicine made from? Water, sugar, mold, algae. Mold, penicillium fungus, okay, from which it is extracted. Mold helps the dead things, plants and animals. Okay. So, how they help? Grow, decay, sleep, reproduce. Okay, it help in the decay, decompose. What microorganism causes red tide? Bacteria, protest algae, fungi. It is the algae, red algae, okay, which uh, cause a red tide. What microorganism makes cheese? Fungi, virus, bacteria, algae. Cheese. Cheese uh, prepared by the fermentation of the milk. Okay. by the bacteria. Which of the following secretes uh, toxins during uh, storage conditions of crop plants? Aspergillus, Penicillium, Fusarium, Colletur trichum, Falcatum, okay. Palmicillium notatum. So, which of the following secretes uh, toxins during the storage conditions of a crop plant? Which one children? So, here asparagus and uh, the penicillium, these two secrete uh, the toxins, fusarium and collector trichum, they may cause disease in uh, the potato and uh, the sugar cane, but uh, they will not uh, secrete any toxins. Okay? So, C, 1 and 2. Which of the following environmental conditions are essential for optimum growth of mucor on a place of, on a piece of uh, bread? Temperature of about 25 degrees centigrade, relative humidity of about 95 percent, a shady place, a brightly illuminated place. Okay. Hence, what are the conditions essential for the growth of uh, this fungi, fungal spores, how they germinate and produce? Okay. So, it requires the temperature about 25 degrees centigrade, the relative humidity of uh, about 95 percent. It also requires some dark or shady place. Okay. So, option C. Algae is unicellular colonial filamentous. Most appropriate one you have to select. Okay. They are uh, unicellular they may be colonial or filamentous. So, all of the above.
which of the following has a chain arrangement? Streptobacillus, streptococci, staphylococci, chain like. Okay. So all these, they are uh, chain like arrangements. Okay, the bacteria. Aflatoxins are most uh, carcinogenic toxins which are produced by aspergillus uh, and um, carcinogillus, thomogillus, okay, aspergillus. Which one? Aspergillus. Okay. So, one only. Next, which of the following bacteria? Which of the following bacteria are used in the production of antibiotics? Bacillus subtilis, Streptomyces, Pseudomonas, Clostridium. It is um, the Bacillus subtilis and Streptomyces. These two bacteria are used in the production of antibiotics. So, option A, 1 and 2. Next, the food items that are prepared by using bacteria are soya sauce, cheese, vinegar. Okay, here all these are used in the preparation of soya sauce, soya sauce. Okay. Hope you followed, children. These are some of the questions which are repeated in the previous medical entrance examinations. So, more in the assessment too, we will see. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.